Welcome to part 2 of Remaking Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. None of the images in this video will be mine, so keep that in mind. Devil May Cry 5 is one of my favorite games, so to be honest, with Virgil, Virgil is one of those characters that's pretty cool. He's, he's very tragic, and I want to capture that with his story mode and his, you know, I'm taking a little inspiration from DMC DMC, so to be honest, it is probably... While taking inspiration from DMC DMC, I thought of a story mode that works for Virgil's character, but also keep it in lines with the canon, and also working in the realm of just being um, awesome and pretty interesting to work with. When it comes to Virgil, his character is always defined by tragedy and what happened to him as a child with his what happened with Mundus, and also just the realm of the idea of him being scarred and constantly in a flux of between him and Dante. Personally, the campaign would roughly focus on him, the main storyline of Don't May Cry 5, but with an added bonus of just some extra features, like it is Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, so to be honest, there would be a lot of stuff that I would have to focus on, or there would be a lot of stuff that you get to have fun with, I should say. <laughs> um, but basically, with Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition and Virgil's campaign, Virgil, it would kind of start off uh, roughly where after the point of Devil May Cry 1, and he would make his way through hell. Um, midway through a few missions, he does get Beowulf back. He already had made Phantom Edge. Um, and then maybe he gets some new weapons through some new boss fights and some other things. And roughly it ends kind of similar to like the... Like you would have overlaps where you would have... I think once he gets to the human world it'll be through the events of devil may cry 4 and through nero's um and dante's meddling in fortuna and virgil kind of bides his time and then gets the yamato and then devil may cry 5 goes into place and then pretty much that's it <laughs> after that point you you would also have other characters that you would get to play as, which mainly with the main campaign. Basically, Trish. One of the more underutilized characters. She is probably one of my favorites. She's a sick badass that is almost like Dante's sister, even though she looks exactly like his mother. <laughs> um, Trish is one of those characters that is roughly awesome, and if you ever see the Devil May Cry 5 anime, or eh, not Devil May Cry 5 anime, Devil May Cry anime, uh, she is pretty much awesome. Her and Lady both. Um, but basically, you would have... You get to play as her, Lady, and Lucia. Trish's abilities or her gameplay would probably be the most tricky to describe because she would be not a copy of Dante this time around. She would have some attributes from her Devil May Cry 4 appearance, but... With a whole lot of flair and a whole lot of style. Uh, style, sorry. <laughs> uh, I screwed up that sentence again. <laughs> uh, stupid stutter. I don't care, I'm not going to edit that out. But um, basically, uh, she would have a lot of returning weapons and some of them similar in style to the DMC DMC remake. Personally, because I think that fits her without being too dumb lack of a better word here. Trisha's gameplay would be very interesting. She would have, well, after the fight with Urizen, she would probably lose most of her weapons, similar to Dante and stuff like that. Because it is stated in the prequel novel, Before the Nightmare, she does bring Artemis with her. And I think after the fight she does get a form of artemis 
lack of a better word, we're getting bringing back Artemis, but we're not only the original, but also we're getting bringing a new one with some cool moves and some interesting attributes made by Nico. <laughs> um, because I feel that Nico was kind of underutilized. She just made Nero's arms and that's it, and it annoyed me. And I wanted to bring and give Nico more of a role this time around, especially with Special Edition, adding some additional content. So she will also help make a new Artemis and some new some new custom-made pistols for Trish that are similar to Dante. More close to the DMC DMC remake with the way it is in Divine, because I thought it fits Trish's character a whole lot more, and they would be very interesting to use, like a mixture between Dante's twin pistols and the sh shotgun, maybe, or Nero's gun. Also, Nero's. Trish would have other weapons as well, like Pandora, and also a shotgun, but it would be more customized, similar to the DMC 3 remake, but I am not going to edit that photo again, so, but you will have a new weapon, similar to how Dante got King Cerberus, Trish would have a mini boss scenario, and get a weapon from it, which is, takes a lot of inspiration from DMC, DMC, because I thought, instead of, um, completely get instead of giving Trish a copy of Dante's moves all the way, take a little bit of inspiration from DMC, DMC for some of the weapons, but also giving her her own set of moves with her own six skills, and take a little bit from Devil May Cry 4, kind of like from a little bit of inspiration from Gloria, because personally Gloria was made as a Trish disguise way before Lady Gaga even was a thing, and ironically enough, it is probably the funniest bit of Devil May Cry 4, and honestly, I like to think she would have a taunt where she would turn into her Gloria disguise, and I think she would keep that weapon she used as Gloria in her kit, mostly just because of the fun of it. And... To be honest, I think that Trish would have a lot of cool weaponry, like, if, if you play as her, she would have, obviously, her own version of uh, Dante's pistols called Luce and Umbra, a shotgun, uh, Pandora, which will be tweaked and made a lot better, uh, a revamped version of Artemis, which will be remade by Nico, mostly just because I think it would work better, and let's say that, that she doesn't just use it for um, when Lady was trapped because uh, Lady got turned into Artemis. I think she would also use it for just the sheer fun of making a new weapon and also making uh, Trish her own version of Dante's pistols and kind of, you know, rivaling her grandmother in a way, like, you know, becoming her own gunsmith, lack of a better word. Um, which was probably the main inspiration of why I thought I'd give her some more to do, because she does get a bit of making Lady a, um, a sequel, or like another bazooka, but I thought, you know, no, like, let's give her more, and heck, uh, there is a bit of art where Lady gets a third one, and I was like, okay, <laughs> no, <laughs> we're, no, we're not doing that again. Um, but, enough about just, uh, Trish's gameplay, you will have other characters you can play as. Lady will roughly play a little bit the same as, uh, she did in Devil May Cry 4, but a few tweaks to her gameplay. And Lucia, well, the only time we got to play as Lucia is in Devil May Cry 2. And we don't talk about that. <laughs> we never talk about that game. Because uh, that game was had the greatest potential. And it turned out to be flop. <laughs> um, but when it comes down to it, I think uh, there would be a lot of additions that we can add. Uh, we're not just going to add Ray Tracing and Legendary Dark Knight. We would also be adding expansions and... A lot of tweaks that would make the gameplay experience a lot better. Not just playable characters, but also missions and new enemies 
four specific characters that will be almost interesting. I could see uh, basically a fight between like each like ugh, each boss. Like there'd be four bosses for Lady and Trish in their own half optional campaign missions that are in the main story. The first one that Trish has to fight is basically the horse, a giant horse boss as a reference to Devil May Cry 1. Which, if you're a fan of that game and, you, and you've and you played it, you know exactly why. <laughs> you know exactly why I chose that. Um, the second one would actually be kind of like uh, a doll. But it would be kind of like similar to... Um, if you played Resident Evil uh, 8... Does anyone remember uh, Belviento? I can't pronounce that name. <laughs> uh, basically, it'd be kind of like that, but it would be like a kind of a Phantom of the Opera scenario where it's like it's half a doll, like an Annabelle style, but also like it's the person that's kind of like in between both. It, it's hard to explain. And the last boss would be kind of like. Um, Basically, it would be a version of herself, maybe, or it could be something else. I don't really know. And then the last one would just be, um, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out, but yeah. Also, quick side note, uh, Lady would also have her own bosses. <laughs> uh, you would also, this would also explain a little bit more of, like, throughout the town, there would be new levels and stuff like that. So if you're wondering that I I wait, what about like new levels and stuff? Like will be there'll be the same old levels? There will be new levels. <laughs> um and there will be new bosses um with their own distinct patterns and also since you'll be playing as different characters with like there would be also new enemies to boot, so you would have to kind of think on the fly. Of how to deal with them as Trish and Lady. Because they would be distinctly different. Um, while Trish is more kind of like a Bayonetta style character. On how she operates. Like she will have like a regular devil trigger. But her sin devil trigger is more like. Um, the, uh, the human electricity bar that you get in Devil May Cry 4. Because I thought that fit Trish a little bit more, and it would be kind of like a mixture between that and a rage meter. Uh, and I kind of liked that, so I thought I'd keep that. And with Lady, I think like keeping her very gun-focused and stuff like that works, but I think giving her a actual rage meter, <laughs> uh, it would basically wouldn't be... It would be kind of like her devil trigger would be existent but she even though she's human but it would be similar to harley quinn's uh rage meter in arkham knight if anyone who's played that game and played the dlc knows what i'm talking about my compliments to you um but yes uh that is the idea and then 